fast. Take it to the pit. You should come with me. See something more than Goliath. With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. That's more of a reason. If we keep doing the same things, this war won't end. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Doing the same thing again and again, it's insane. But what can be done that the warlords haven't done already? We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war, rather than how we win it? Come with me. I need someone to watch my back when I go look for some supplies. And I know I can trust you. I can't leave. Stormson, Cauldron, is counting on me. And there are so many wounded. You patch them up, I want to give people a chance to fight back. If I can pull this off, you will have fewer wounded to worry about. Are you in need of medical supplies? It'll take time to prepare them, I'm afraid. With all the fighting, we haven't any stocks left. Do you help everyone who asks? It is a healer's duty, especially in these times of war. And it is needed, bitterly. Which is what I have heard from everyone we picked up. Terrible. I wish I could offer aid to all those in need. But it seems not even our magic helps us keep up with supplies. Can you heal my wounds? Let me have a look. You don't seem to have any broken bones. Here, I think this will aid you. Thank you. We are here to heal. Besides, the more people who can patch themselves up, the less time we'll have to spend picking up the pieces. You must hear a lot about what's going on. I don't need to hear. I get to see the results. The magic the Albs are using is so destructive. Somehow they're managing to use pure Elex, and it makes me fear for our warriors. It's more powerful than Berserker magic? It's more destructive. With the damage it's causing, I can't believe it isn't tearing the Albs apart, too. It must hurt them. Hurt? Yes. But they're trained to reject emotions and feelings. Yes. They say Elex makes machines of men, but I have heard there are Alps who have escaped their addiction. I wish I could meet one. Knowing what they feel might help me assist others to overcome their addiction. What do you know about Elex withdrawal? I met an Alp separatist. He was brought in as a prisoner. His external wounds weren't so bad, but internally, emotionally, he was trying to cope with all those withdrawal symptoms, and at the same time, he was rediscovering his emotions. All that pain. All that confusion. What happened to him? Where is he? He died. It was all just too much. I wish I could have learned more from him. If he could leave, so could others. Maybe that could offer hope to us all. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Heard you're the person to talk to when you need something hard to get hold of. Did Angrim send you? Look, I don't know where he gets these ideas about me. I'm not here from Angrim. I need to buy a laser weapon, the sort the clerics use. I got hold of one recently, but then Hakon spotted it and confiscated it. Do you know how I can get hold of another one? And if you can get me one, can you get me, say, three? Are you insane? I don't know this man. I've never met him. Keep your voice down. 
I'm sorry, stranger. I've no idea what you're talking about. Trade. Me. I'm a solid, honest berserker. I don't know who told you what, but get lost before you get me exiled, or worse. I'm going, I'm going. Why do you think you're losing the war? You've seen the enemy. Alm raiders? Cleric mechs? Guns? We are the guardians of Magellan. It's our duty to win this war. Why does it matter how we win it? It's winning and choosing what we do afterwards that counts. And how do you want to win? In a fair fight. Not with swords and superstition against energy weapons. If we've crossed the line and are prepared to kill a man, why question the way he was killed? Better to give up some of our principles than ask our warriors to give up their lives. I am watching you. You're responsible for overseeing the pit, aren't you? What's that to a hunter? So, you're responsible for all the Elix technology in Goliath? Why? Have you found something while you were out hunting? Do you destroy everything that comes to you? Or do you ever try any of it out? And would you ever think of testing it in the field? You mean give Elix weapons to someone to see if they work? Someone like you? Huh, it's an interesting idea. Say, why not meet me in the tavern later? I'll talk to you about it. Sure, I can be in the tavern later. And I'll be buying. Today's the day things change, my friend. Today is the day when a chance was taken, that the door to victory was opened. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the future of Magellan. This world will grow again, across all the lands. I'm talking about the safety of Goliad and all who live here. A fair chance to turn the battle. These Alms will be in for a shock. And once the way is shown, all Berserkers will follow. Do you know Stormson? Have you seen him anywhere? Yeah, I met him. Do you know where he is now? No, I don't. He was supposed to meet me, but Orin said he'd left with two guys just before I got there. I haven't been able to find him since. Who did he leave with? Orin didn't say. Which is strange. He was really evasive, and it's not as if he wouldn't know. Orin knows everyone in Goliath. Could Stormson have left with outsiders? I'd have heard if there were more outsiders here. Everyone talks about incomers, and Orin would have said something for sure. Then the men were berserkers. But... If they were from Goliath, then why didn't Orin say who they were? Maybe he was told not to. Angrim. He is the only one who could scare Orin into staying silent about something. Stormson must have been arrested. Can you think why Angram would have Stormson arrested? Stormson spoke out against the law. He thought we were losing the war, that we needed to change what we were doing if we were going to stand up to the Alves. Change what? Change how? I don't know. He asked me to go with him to look for supplies. I assumed he meant medical supplies, but do you think because I said I wouldn't that he asked someone else to go with him? Maybe. And maybe he asked the wrong person. 
If he's alive, I will find Stormson for you. Would you speak to Angram? He must know what's happened. Okay, I'll speak to Angram. Be careful. Angram believes in the law more than he does in people. If he thinks the laws have been broken, he won't like anyone questioning him. I can take care of myself. That technology will get you into trouble here. What do you know about Stormson's disappearance? Stormson? The hunter? He was taken from the tavern. Orin refuses to say who took him. And what business is Stormson of yours? Do you know what happened to him? He was arrested, questioned, and sentenced. There was no doubting his guilt. He had spoken his thoughts quite freely, and admitted that he was planning to break the law. What crime did Stormson commit? He had fallen under the spell of technology. He had the deluded idea that we should give up magic and take up guns. Why not use both? Give up studying magic to fight an arms race we can't win? Commit ourselves to the use of pure elex, forbidden by Amrek and the Pilgrim? The Pilgrim has committed us to finding a way to win this war with magic. To spread the lie of technology at such a time is treason. Speaking is a crime. He went a little further than that. He was actively seeking to buy forbidden technology, weapons from the clerics. What did he want weapons for? To prove his theory. But his intentions are of no concern. The law is clear. Such weapons are forbidden. Stormson knew that, and he made his choice. Now, the law has been served. He has been exiled to the valley. A lenient sentence to send him back to the place he loves. You know technology is forbidden by law here. These berserkers were killed with energy weapons. This looks like the work of clerics.
rid of that technology. Stormson is still alive. You've seen him? One of the men who were escorting him to exile. They're dead. I show mercy and good men die. So be it. Now his crime is more than words, and his sentence becomes the harsher. Let his death pay for the blood that was spilled. He's as good as dead. Tread carefully. Stormson knows the forest well, and the men he killed were no fools. May justice give you the strength for this task. Good luck to you. Stormson, the Berserker. And? Who are you? Oh, I can see from that look. Angrim sent me, didn't he? How did you get here from the dam? Look around you. I should give you a clue. As we left Goliath, we ran into a group of clerics. The guards, the ones Angrim sent to kill me, decided to pick a fight. They lost. The clerics saw I was a prisoner and gave me a choice. Fight, leave and be free, or come and join me. A choice. An actual, real choice. Not like Angrim. And so I'm here. And so now you found me. And so, what happens now? Angrim wants you dead. But I'll let you live. You travel half the world and you'll let me live? How can I trust you? You'd prefer it if I just killed you? Now you do sound like you've come from Angrim. No, I'll live. Now I finally got a chance to. But if you do go back to Goliath, tell Akira I'm doing all right. And if she can ever tear herself from her plants, she knows where to find me. I'll make sure she gets your message. Thanks. You know, I thought Angrim would send someone after me. But there's no way I thought that person would leave me alive. It seems not everyone in Goliath is an asshole. If you find Akira, tell her she should give you my old things. I'm not going back there, so you might as well have them. Take them as thanks. is alive and well. Where is he? The clerics helped him escape. Then he really won't be able to return here. I hope he finds peace with them. Stormson can't return. He said I could have his things. Well, he didn't own much, and most of it was taken by Angram's men. I did find a few shards he had stashed away. Here, take them as thanks for your news. <laughs> 